maybe what I'd like to inform you is that we have uh, three um, greening uh, exercises that we're carrying out on the expressway. There are sections where we have uh, grassing and uh, flowers that are being planted on the ground. We have other sections where we have tree planting. Um, that is in areas where there is uh, proper uh, areas to actually uh, plant the trees. And we also have what we have, uh, as you can see before you, the anchoring of plants onto uh, the structural members, what we call columns or piers. Um, the reason this came ab about is that we felt that um, the character of engineering structures sometimes does not create a peaceful environment for people to travel through. It is important that we try and uh, blend our infrastructure with the environment. And we thought that this was a very um, conducive area to try and introduce a new technology, a novel way of doing things in terms of structure of uh, building structures. And we thought it would be good to um, uh, cover the columns with the, with the plants um, that also gives a soft aspect or soft architecture experience of the, of the structure itself. Oh, it could look like um, something organic, something that actually grew out of the ground. I think they'll be very beautiful. As you can see behind me, it's already started taking shape. So it's just to give that pleasant feeling uh, as people are approaching, uh, the, as um, people are moving through the section. It also gives like a, a, a mood of peace and serenity as you're passing through this section. It's just to make them look green and make them like part and parcel of the environment which we find ourselves in. As you know, it's important to ensure that trees are retained because of the contribution they have in terms of the, uh, the climate uh, change that we're experiencing. Um, this will add an, an effect of, uh, they create a carbon sink in which they'll be able to absorb any carbon that has been uh, generated by the vehicles that are passing through the route. And again, as I say, it's also important for um, the peacefulness and the ease, the serenity that it creates as people use this particular road. Um, it it's also helps to um, uh, give them a better mood as they're passing through the section. Um, during operations the period for the project, uh, for this particular expressway, the um, operating uh, maintenance contractor will be responsible for it, or the concessionaire as we call them, and uh, they'll co continuously water the plants and replant them where need be, where the plants need to be placed. So there'll be a team that is already in place that has been set up and their full responsibility is to, um, is to uh, deal with all the landscaping, landscaping works that has been done on the ground and also the landscaping uh, uh, that has also been captured on the columns. Uh, uh, well, the plants, as you can see, they are um, pockets and uh, porous. Uh, they're actually por porous fixtures, so the water can drain down the face of the pier. As for the actual drainage uh, of the road, um, this particular project is plugged into the existing system that is on Mombasa Road. Uh, and it will be feeding into that uh, uh, drainage system, which is currently under uh, review and upgrading by Kenha. Well, we have a tree planting that is also taking place. Uh, we have about uh, 3,500 trees we'll be planting. Uh, some of them are on site, uh, the section between JKIA to um, Cabanas and onwards, where there's space for tree planting, we'll plant trees. But uh, we also have a, a discussion that's ongoing between the project company Moja Expressway, uh, Ken ourselves, and also NEMA, that is looking into an off-site location where we can also do an additional number of trees, uh, such as probably a, um, a forested area or a game reserve. So we have those two other options that we're considering for landscaping. Well, I wouldn't go into the intricate uh, nature of it all, but just to say that there, it's, a, it's in three mechanisms. The first mecha mechanism is to provide a supporting structure on the column. The second one is now the pocket within which you, fit, you fix onto the column. And then third, you have the pots within which now the plants will be planted and the plants are put into those supporting mechanisms. So there's a, the support module, which is what is uh, fixed directly onto the column. There's a planting module, which will be the one that holds the pots within which the plants will be uh, placed. Yeah. As you can see, right across the road, uh, these are plants that are, are local to Kenya. And so they're regular plants that you can find all, all over. And they are those that we think will be able to uh, stand uh, the test of time, as long as, of course, they're, they're manicured and uh, correctly uh, taken care of during the period of uh, maintenance. These uh, plants will be watered every two days. Um, and uh, what we'll adopt in the interim 
is more of a manual uh, approach to watering the plants, which is uh, using a water bowser with enough pressure to um, water the plants using a hose and pipe. But uh, we're also looking into other mechanisms that can be fit into the structure that may have like self-sustaining watering of uh, the plants as they grow over the period of uh, the concession.